Hello everyone, how's it going? I am Indy Andy Roams, and we are going to get started with Shadow Generation's possible finale today? We will see, we will see. Uh, so, let us continue. I'm a little hyped, I'm a little excited. I'm hoping this is going to be a fantastic time as per typical. Everything looks clear for stream side. Except for this. Everything should be good. We have a new un ability that we are going to unlock right now after talking to Gerald and Maria. So you say you've seen regions you're not familiar with? Yeah, I would speculate that you've experienced places in the future. Time? Wait. Spoiler? Spoiler, Umbral Porcupine. Hello, Noob, how you doing? Noob, I do have the new chat widget working, and if you want to give it a go first, put a, a, put a regular emote in. <clears throat> you say you encountered a foe Exactly. You say you encountered a foe you don't remember? The damage done to the time stream may be stirring up echoes of past alterations. Hmm. I've studied time manipulation, but I am no expert on it. All I can offer are my educated guesses. Shadow. It seems my theory was correct, and time can heal itself to a degree. So long as the pivotal moments in history are restored, the rest will find equilibrium. Do what you must to stop Black Doom. Whatever ripples you create will be nothing in comparison to the evil he can bring. What was that last thing that he said before about regions? Time has very little meaning here. It's reasonable you'd glimpse tomorrow as much as yesterday. But yeah, I have the new chat widget work, but it, the, it like disappears immediately and cannot change the duration, sadly. The foe you don't remember was Mephilus. True. True, actually. No! Shadow, I don't want you to listen to Black Doom. You sh may share his DNA, but he is not your true family. Your real family loves you and wants you to be safe and happy. That's us, Shadow. Me and Grandfather. Please remember that. <laughs> Since time has been different for uh, you, do you remember our teacher? She was very strict, but I loved learning new things from her. She liked my biology report on Chow very much. <laughs> you really ought to catch up on your homework, you know? I don't think you ever turned in an assignment. <laughs> the food on the Ark is okay, but I really miss a cookie on Earth. Before I got sick, I went with my family to Spagonia. The food there was amazing. I thought I said spaghetti for a second. Have you found a favorite food? All I've ever seen you have is coffee. Because it drives your energy. <laughs> I don't know why I was gonna say that. Caffeine helps. Only Big remembers because he's outside of time and Shadow's canonically too cool for school. Also true. Yeah. I almost missed that. 
the last way. Oh, I just remember Shadow also had a coffee thing in Murder of <laughs> Sonic. <laughs> That's funny. I still gotta play that one day. Black Arms weaponry is organic in origin. This means they grow their forearm, uh, firearms. Uh, forearms. Shadow, you are part Black Arms. Your forearms are as thick as, as a gun. Therefore, I surmise you should be able to turn your hand into a gun. <laughs> Observation. <laughs> Professor Gerald built the Eclipse Cannon. It is one of the mightiest weapons in history. He researched the ultimate life form to cure all disease and preserve life. Data incompatible inquiry... What kind of man was he? Observation. Black Doom is the central figure of the Black Arms, an entire alien race devoted to destruction and conquest. Do not look at me like that. I admire their power, not them. I must prove I am more powerful by destroying them. <laughs> I love Omega, dude. <laughs> Don't look at me like that. I admire their power, not them in specific. However, it is cool that they can destroy things the way I can't currently. So. Everybody likes Omega. It's hard not to, dude. So hang out with Marie and the professor again, huh? You worked so hard to put your past behind you, and now here it is staring you in the face. Cherish this time with them, but don't forget you've moved on. You aren't the shadow they knew from 50 years ago. Damn. A realist. So just a thought, but we're in kind of a hub between time periods, right? Do you think it'd be safe if I grabbed a few treasures while we're here? You know, before high-tech security gets invented, then again, if I take them from the past, they don't exist to become valuable relics. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Correct me if I'm wrong, but did Omega seem happy to hear from me? Wait, were you two actually worried for my well-being? <laughs> oh, you boys are too sweet. <laughs> the more you deny it, the more I believe it. <laughs> That's cute. to me. What is this something? What is this power? Is it more chaos control? No! No! Oh, it's the wings I got at the beginning of the game. Doom Wing. Creative name. <laughs> More radical highway. It's Radical Highway time, boys. But again. With at least 50 rings, LB and RB, hold RT in, press LB and RB, hold RT in midair to glide, Doomwing consumes rings over time. Unleash the power. I feel this is kind of sick. Complete. This is kind of dope. Oh, 
all hail Shadow. You cannot deny me, Shadow. You are finally complete. Come, face me. I shall claim you, mind, body, and soul, and become the perfect being. My son. <laughs> I love the man you've become today. <laughs> he smiled. Vegeta. Shadow. Nothing can stop me from reaching that eye now. Not as cool as Radical Highway. I'm sad. Music, go! <laughs> Act one Doomwing off or Doomwing on? Interesting. I wonder if there's alt endings. I like Doomwing. We'll use it. Fine. I don't care. Ah, they saved it for the end! Let's go! You see? Shadow do what's up. <laughs> They save it for the end, not the intro. <laughs> oh my god! They did like a little piece for the intro. I like it. I like it. No! Let's go, Shadow. No, no. I will not fall. I will be the ultimate life form. Yeah. 
Oh my god. It's time. With this power. They didn't need to make this game as cool as they did. They really didn't. The rocket returns! Yes, I also like stunning the enemy with the missile, then doing a homing attack. It makes you think before you do. Let's go! Transform! I don't like doing that because it's skipping the level design and I want to see the levels. No! No! no. Damn it! No! No! Do this le level later, dude. <laughs> Let's go, Shadow. Loop de loops. The classic. No, 
I want it. Whatever. No, I'll hold up. I'm right at the beginning. I love it. I refuse. I refuse. That's a gimme. That's a gimme. Cut over here? Woo! I didn't realize.
out of my way. This is the part I missed the last time. That's cool. I like that a little bit better. Neat. <sighs> Only an A rank, though. That's a little sad. Whatever. Whatever. It's fine. It's fine. Whee! Uh, Act 2. Yeah, we'll do Doomwing. They do cool stuff with Doomwing. I can't be disappointed. Is this this the second part of? Oh my God! They do Sonic Adventure two bet battle better. <laughs> In here. No power. <laughs> yeah, I love the music. They went all out, my dude. They went all out. Ah! I got this music, dude. Wait, I see something. Oh! There's a secret! Sorry, not a secret, an alternate path. <laughs> Let's go. Power unlocked. Uh, uh. Oh, you, okay. And hit, shoot, score. 
Hell yeah, dude. Yeah, I have no idea how they're gonna follow this up either, dude. <laughs> I really don't know. Going down. And around. We are Thank you! Oh. oh, we're gonna take you up and around. Yeah, right there. Let's go. <laughs> Zoom ride. This game is too cool. This game is way too cool, my dude. I want to cry because I'm near the end. I can't believe our journey's almost up. But hell, we had a hell of a time, though. <laughs> oh, oh, I love it. All the freaking, all, all the references, all the throwbacks, dude. Thank you. Oh. I want to cry. We're never getting an amazing Sonic game ever again in our lifetime. This is it. This is a peak. Ugh. <laughs> You're so cool, Shadow. Let the adrenaline rush. It is time! Black Doom! I need to see this ending. The time has come, Shadow. Agreed. Time to sever this bond between us forever. <laughs> Let's go, Black Doom. Devil do. Doom surfing. Find of all time. Maybe, actually.
trying to overwhelm the machine numbers. Don't be silly. No! Alright, I'll take it. It's fine. Phase one done. Time for phase two. <laughs> Spectacle of the goddamn year. Do more. Oh god, no, no. My weakness. Just bad timing. Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. Take this. It can't be done yet. I don't believe it. Oh, hell, Shadow. This is so cool! Okay. I just want to hit it. What'd I do? Oh! Did I parry it? No way! I don't know. No, or did I get hit? This is the devil doom doing this shit to me. <laughs> I'm fine with it. Go. 
Oh my god. They do give me so much points for health, though. for my victory. Shadow! <laughs> Let's go! I will not be stopped. You win! <laughs> Amazing. D ring. <laughs> D as in for destiny. No. I know everything has to end. But I don't want it nice to. Work. Perfect timing, too. Sonic is getting ready to confront the monster that trapped us here. If I'm going to switch the emeralds without him noticing, we have to do it now. Very well. I leave it to you. Okay. I'll take care of it. Aren't you coming? He might need your help. I need to settle something first. Whatever. <gasps> Shadow? <clears throat> I knew you could do it. 
Maria. Uh, I'm okay. Really. Professor, what's happening? Without Black Doom's influence, the time anomaly is beginning to heal. We are returning to our own point in time. I'll stop Rouge. Use Chaos Control. Stop this moment in time. Shadow? No. I don't want to be frozen in one place in time. Besides, this your hurts. friends need your help. But you don't know what's going to happen. This hurts so much. Wait. Yes, Rouge, because you obviously can keep up a shadow. Sonic Team Sega has knocked it out of the park. Let's go. I can't believe. Yes, your review embargo is lifted now, Noob. I appreciate you for holding back. I agree, full throttle, dude. Oh my god! 10 out of 10 Sega game of all time. It is high up there. One of the greatest Sonic games ever now. It immediately gets into top three, and it's hard to defend it against number one, which I don't even know what's number one at this point that's defending against Shadow. But this game is insane. It's so good. All the callbacks, the new story, kind of like building up char uh, Shadow's character overall. I can't believe Sega actually did this. <laughs> da, 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 da. Like, as I was saying before, Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, Black Myth Wukong, Silent Hill 2, and Shadow or Sonic X Shadow Generations all came out this year. And... Immediately, I would actually put Sonic Generations nearly tying for number one for FF7 Rebirth if it didn't hit all the feels in the right place and immerse the hell out of me and also have a longer play time. But this was short and satisfying and it was phenomenal for a platformer. <clears throat> Feels weird to have a great Sonic game with no strings attached. The string attached is, it's not a Sonic game, it's a Shadow game. <laughs> It is Shadow Generations. I will hear no slander on it. <laughs> like, the base of what Frontiers was, Sonic Frontiers, is what made this game amazing. They 
think so much about Frontiers. They got the visual aesthetic. They got the music. They got the gameplay. Like, the only thing that I think I would say that, like, knocks points off, not on, like, a hype perspective, but, like, a mechanical perspective, is difficulty in bosses. Stage design, loved it. Boss design, I enjoyed what it was about, and I know Sonic bosses aren't really supposed to be difficult, but it feels like there could have been a very well done boss design if they really wanted to go the extra step to make it so cool and a little bit more like you have to think of how to progress in the boss. Stuff like that. <laughs> However, minus that, the game is still like, you go through, you have a blast, you have a fun time, and you enjoy the damn game. They're essentially scripted bosses with shortcuts instead of dynamic then dynamic bosses like Frontiers. They are scripted bosses, but the thing is, it's like I like the boss design of this game more than Frontier boss design. I like the idea of Frontier's boss design, but I like the cinematic appeal a lot more of these bosses. Like, and kind of like, I don't know, it's hard to say. A Frontier's bosses weren't bad. They just like, I wanted a little bit more and they did have more mechanical depth in Frontier's except for the fourth boss. And like the finale DLC boss, personally. The mini bosses in Frontier's were a lot cooler though, obviously, because there were no mini bosses in here. If I would have had Frontier mini bosses inside of here, I would have liked to see how that would have made me feel. Oh my god. <laughs> Sunset Heights, I love this music. I love this stage from Forces. I didn't like Forces, and this game made Forces great. This game made Sonic 06 great. This game made Frontiers great! <sighs> God. Oh, God. I'm tired. <laughs> I am going ballistic right now. The music here is... Yeah. This is, this game is how cyberspace level should have been inside of Frontiers, damn it! I get what cyberspace levels for Frontiers was trying to do, but still. Doesn't mean I'm not annoyed. <laughs> I love the music. So we did it. We beat Shadow Generations. I think after the credits end, because I'm jamming out to the music right now. Radical Highway. We're gonna listen to uh, what's it called? We're going to go read those um journal entries. <laughs> Uh, I think it's safe to say the level design isn't Generation Styles or any other, it's its own style. It is Frontier's DLC Cyber Level, uh, level design in a way. It's more structured like a Generations level but with the Frontiers DLC structure, but with the Shadow Twist thrown in. With like the dynamic shots that come from Sonic Forces or Sonic Generations as well. Because Sonic Forces had a lot of dynamic shots, it just was lackluster dynamic shots um, because it took away from the gameplay. And the gameplay in Forces was bad. Generations was dynamic, but like, I don't know. Like this game was dynamic and like every Sonic game has their own spectacle, but the gameplay is always like kind of put on the back burner and co oh my God, this shot right here, dude. Oh, my heart. Ah, oh, let's go. Let's go.
It's more narrow than generations, but there's so much extra compl uh, complexity in your choices. Cast control, spear. Yeah, no, I don't disagree. I don't disagree. Yeah, we're gonna go read the uh, journal entries first, though. Um... Oh, activate Doom Zone. Not only will the number of white space. <gasps> We ain't done. We ain't done. We're not done. I thought we were done. I thought all we had left were their journal entries. Wait, wait, I'm so confused. What did it say it affected? Wait, what did it say it affected? Hold up, hold up. Where, where, where is that? I need that, I need it, I need it, I need it, Doom Zone. White space challenge acts increase, but challenges and bosses will also become more difficult. White space challenge acts. What are white space challenge acts? Is this a white space challenge act? I don't think so. Wait, I, I, I need to understand, dude. I need to understand. I need to understand. Hold up. Hold up. Okay. Artificial chaos counter. Artificial chaos are in the arc. Time for dessert. I just need to see. I need to understand. And defeat said number of artificial chaos. Oh, I see. <laughs> I see. Hold up. They're making me think. Chaos control! They're making me think. Oh my God, I cannot believe. Warning, 
Alert, Black Doom is nearly ready to unleash his full might. Shadow, you have to destroy him before. You have... I am certain you can do... You have destroyed him before. I am certain you can do it again. I believe in you. I will assist you. I will cover you from here when you engage Black Doom. What? Pr protect Professor Gerald and Maria at all costs? I do not protect. I destroy. However, I can protect them by destroying all the who threaten them. <laughs> right, Omega. I am eager to return to normal space and time. It is much easier to tally the units I destroyed there. I propose a two-person bombing expedition on Eggman's base. I'm sure it will be worthwhile. <laughs> I love Omega. Halt. Pause. We're going to go fight Bio Lizard hard. <laughs> I need, I need to see this. I need to see if it actually gets difficult. Make me think, Bio Lizard. Make me think. <laughs> It looks so good in this game, dude. It looks so good in this game. Tortured soul. I will end your suffering. <laughs> you can't keep this <laughs> yeah. I was disappointed the first time I fought you. Don't make don't let it happen again. <laughs> oh my god! I will end your suffering. Wait, where's the ring? I don't have a ring! You can't keep this with me. Your energy is still unstable. I need to target the lights when it comes back. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ah, live and learn! I didn't hear it before! Why not get rings at all? Is that what hard mode is? didn't kill me, but I have to actually be quick about it. Chaos 
control! Get lost! Let's do this. What the? Focus, 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 focus. Chaos control. No! Stop struggling. Wait, oh, it's a checkpoint system? Uh, I'm a little sad by that, but okay, fine. True ultimate life force. Out of my way. At that point, I'd rather them give us a health bar. Pointless is basically trying for S rank. I can see it. The whole combat aspect of like Sonic games, though, this is what bothers me because they'll never get rid of the ring system. And I think the ring system is super outdated. I thought the idea for Sonic Frontiers did it decently, but it's like it's aiming for S rank. I get that. I understand that. Wait a second, we never got the ship. Hold up. I just remembered those two goobers. Yeah, I'll, I'm definitely gonna do Metal Overlord. I'm gonna do all of them, but the thing is, it like it's just kind of my Amazing. thought mentality behind it. I'm gonna do them all. It's not a question of if I am. But I cannot believe there's actually dessert here. However, I cannot have it like that all the time because it gives me a headache. What was I gonna do though? Uh, I was gonna check the collection room. Because I think I might have gotten all of the journal entries for Gerald's journal. I'm missing two. Where was the last two?
we could travel around with the Doom Wing and search for it like that. Was part of the boost system. Out of my way. these last two balloons Dude, I can't find them. I generally kept finding them along the way, but like these two are kind of hidden. Pages. Does it appear anywhere on the map? I don't see the book on the map. Am I blind? Or... I have an idea.
was gonna be something along the lines as... Sonic 06 music. There we go. All the way over here. Shadow, look, I don't trust many people I respect even fewer. You are special so much, so I feel compelled to admit it. You've got a lot going on, and Black Doom is in your head, so I just wanted Watch to say, be careful here at the end of it all, okay? And if you need someone after, and if you need someone after it's all said and done, and you can't <laughs> be, huh, listen to me, I sound just like Amy Rose. You're pretty brutal when you took down the Black Pharmacy Corps. There's a good chance they, they'll find a way to revive themselves hmm. again. What I'm getting at is, don't hold back. Take him down. Tear that creep to pieces. Sonic and his friends are still tracking down the last of the Chaos Emeralds. We still have time to swap out the fake one for the real thing. Good luck, Shadow. But that plan hinges on you coming back alive, so don't mess this up. Damn, yeah, like, Rouge is actually sacrificed, like, basically, not sacrificing, putting everybody at risk for a trusting Shadow. But if anything, I got what I wanted. So we're gonna read Gerald's journal. <sighs> G 
journal proper, property of Jero Robotnik. Archival, uh, from Archival and Requisitions Department to Commander Abraham Tower. Your request for tangible evidence of the ARC incident 50 years ago produced very little result. Your predecessor was quite thorough in erasing the cover-up operation. However, Professor Gerald Robotnik's personal diary managed to survive. Ironically, we have Dr. Eggman to thank for finding it at all. This journal was recovered during the investigation of Dr. Eggman's stronghold following the latest incident with the ARC. Unfortunately, time and tragedy have not been kind to the journal. What you're holding now is all that remains of the original book. I'm afraid there's no way of recovering the missing pages, nor can I restore the damage or redacted elements. It's a pity, as I would have uh, very much liked to have greater insight into Gerald and Maria's lives too. Regards, T. T standing for tower. Hard reading commence. Entry number two. I take great pride in my research and discoveries. Few men are labeled as a genius in their own time, but nothing compares to my pride in my... in my... boys? Does that say boys? Hold up. Oh god, it does. T.O. Tower, so it's T is someone else. Ha! Huh. Regards, T. So this is Gerald with his two sons and his granddaughter, Maria. So the, uh, the one on the right, I'm assuming, is um, Eggman's father, possibly? looks like him anyways. This is written to Tower. Yes, you can zoom in new. <laughs> but nothing compares to the pride in my boys. So and so and so and so. They both graduated summa cum laude and in, rec in record time no less. They'll have doctorates in no time. It seems my passions for archaeology and robotics are split between them, but I guess that's what makes them chips off the old block. Ho ho. I cannot wait to see what... Uh... What... Soon... What boons they bring to the world. Entry number 162. I can't believe how much time has passed. It feels like yesterday I was celebrating my boys becoming men, and now I am a grandfather. Her name is Maria, and she is perfect in every way. She brings a smile to everyone's face, and everyone falls in love with her the moment they lay eyes on her. If nothing else, she is my le she is my legacy. Everything I do from this day forward, I do for her. I'm assuming that's uh, Maria. Damn, I did this in ultra hard mode. I ain't doing it like you, noob. I'm sorry. Entry number 170. I deciphered the engravings on an ancient ring I found on a previous dig in the blank blank juggle, jungle. And calculated the... Location of a fabled flying paradise. In the blank blank jungle. What's the blank blank jungle? I went alone. Um, fabled flying paradise. I went alone to verify my findings and was rewarded with the spectacle of an angelic island, Angel Isle. The land was vast, lush, and hosted a number of biomes in close proximity to each other. I believe I could see an entire floating city at one point. Most majestic of all was a shrine devoted to what appeared to be a massive Chaos Emerald. I'm assuming. Could this be the legendary Master Emerald? I dare not approach or overstay my welcome as much as I wanted to explore every inch of the island, I felt it was a sacred land. Just setting foot on it, on its so, uh, soil felt taboo. I don't know if any civilization remains. The land is vast and my stay was brief, but the ma uh, majesty of that emerald and shrine will stay with me for the rest of my life. Cool. 
Uh, entry 185. I am about to embark on the most ambitious project of my life. The Earth's first orbital space colony will be the ninth wonder of the world. It will be a place of science researching all manners of ways to improve our home below. Seeing as it was a vessel, seeing as it is a vessel meant to preserve life amid the harshness of space, I have christened it the Ark. I shall be... It shall be a vessel to pass on the valley of life and peace to the next generation. And while most of the mega structure It is mega structure. Okay. And while most of the mega structure will be hidden within the base planetoid planetoid I may have gone a little self-indulgent in the design. Ho oh, ho! Who are those two next to him? Uh, the one on the left seems like Professor Utonium from Powerpuff Girls. Leave me alone, noob. The only real concern is the source of the funding. While the United Federation supports us, most of the financing is coming from blank. I have no ill... I have no illusions about what they'll want, but I'm building the Ark to preserve life, not end it. While I have my concerns, I am a genius, so I'm sure I'll figure something out when the time comes. So, we went from entry 12... Entry 42 to 162. 170 to 185. Now we're on 389. Life and work aboard the Ark has been exciting for good and for ill. As a positive, we've acquired one of the legendary Chaos Emeralds for our research. They're said to hold unlimited power and preliminary tests suggest some effect on space-time. Bending reality for one's will, uh, to one's will. Imagine the possibilities. Sadly, Blank is doing just that. But in all the wrong ways. Their desire for weapons research is... Gun is doing just that, but in all the wrong ways. Their desire for weapons research is becoming un... In everlasting, oh my god, dude, is becoming increasingly overt. My god, increasingly overt and decreasingly polite. Is that a right word? Oh, increasingly polite. Oh my god. I'm about to just read it, like, normally, honestly. It's getting very hard. I use my cloud to get a direct line for uh, to the president to ask for him to intervene. They said, uh, he said he would, but they asked me for something equally obscene. He wants me to discover a means to immortal immortality. I aim to improve life, not pervert it. Everything, everything gives way to entropy. The concept is laughable, as inlaughable as a shadow. I refused him outright. In retrospect, perhaps I could have been more diplomatic about it. I find myself on edge. Political pressures aside, I am... I'm told Maria is sick with no clear diagnosis. I wish I could work. I wish I could look into it myself, but I need it aboard the Ark. Hopefully this will pass and she'll recover soon. She is too precious to be to be left to suffer. Damn us president wants to be immortal. What the hell happened here? The all-powerful Black Doom, the blank, held the power to bind soul. He dest the ent. The all-powerful blank, the blank held the power to bind a soul. 
the blank destroyed the entire. Huh. Entry 402. I have uncovered a most interesting specimen from the warehouse. It was first recovered by my son, Blank, who became quite the archaeologist, so not Robotnik. Um, so not like Eggman. Um, Eggman's father. Or Eggman's father, not Maria's father. I believe it... Maria's father, not Eggman. Oh my god, I'm getting confused. I believe it to be some sort of puppet or robot made by an ancient... I'm sorry, noob. <laughs> I, I've tried. I, I, I really did try. Uh, by an ancient people. At first, I didn't think anything of it, but when I was experimenting on the blank, it began to move. This suggests the possibility that even the ancient civilizations could harness the power of the blank. When I was researching various papers related to blank and this robot, I discovered there was a possibility that this robot was something incredible. I don't want to get ahead of myself, but this robot may be the cause of the destruction of the fourth great civilization. I'm not sure I believe it just yet, though. Uh, entry 407. I am no longer able to ignore the possibility that this robot did in fact destroy the fourth great civilization. I have discovered a stone tablet that explains as much. According to the tablet, when the figure falls from the heaven and the stone of the gods is joined, all that exists will become one again. Though it is difficult to believe that this ro it is difficult to believe this robot has been watching my movements and mimicking all that I do. Is this Emerald? Yes, it is. Um, I was amazed by my scans of the. So we're getting Emerald lore. Um, I was amazed by my scans of this being. Uh, surprisingly, reams and reams of data scrolled and caused my most powerful computer to crash. Most intriguing was the state. Uh, most more intriguing was that the data was all about melee combat and weapons of that age. Eventually, if this being is ever restored to its former state, it will be it will put all the data to use and recreate all the weaponry and combat abilities that it once had. And that's not all. If my guesses are correct, it will have the ability to absorb modern weaponry as well. What have I done? I have uncovered a horrible weapon. It's not Emerald's fault. Why, why does it do that? Why does it do that? Why, why do you do this? It has more dialogue here. Then it does on the sheet. Interesting. All right, entry 428. Um, it has been a trying time to say the least. Blank Maria was di uh, diagnosed with neuro immunodeficiency syndrome. There's no cure yet. E no cure yet. I pulled some strings and had her brought aboard the ARC for treatment assessment. The low gravity environment should help keep her symptoms manageable. Her family has been less, less than enthusiastic with my decision. Despite everything, she remains the most positive person in the room. Most of the staff here left their families back on Earth, so I worried she'd feel lonely. Instead, she become, she's become the adoptive daughter of every researcher on the Ark. Moreover, she's become like a big sister to little Abraham, the Ark's happy little accident over the last few years. The president keeps prompting me with a request to unlock the mysteries of life. Perhaps with his funding and clout, I can find a means to cure Maria while chasing that shadow. That's so sad. Oh my god, dude.
Gerald had a lot of love for his granddaughter. Entry 515. Blank has dropped all pretense, so Gun has dropped all pretense and is demanding weapon research in exchange for continued funding. I promise the president, I, I'm assuming Gun, and demanded weapons research in exchange for continued funding. I promise the president I'd begin I'd begin working on Project Shadow. Huh. Neuroimmune Deficiency Disorder, NIDS, is something they made up that sounds similar to AIDS. Interesting. Huh. Maybe. Huh. Huh. Oh, uh, Project Shadow, but even he can't get them to back down. It appears I have a gun to my head on the matter. Ho ho. So yeah, that is gun. Years ago, I discovered records of an ancient god of destruction called Chaos. It was said to command the fury and force of the ocean, or something to that effect. I begin developing a basic AI-driven apparatus that can generate cohesion in water and produce controlled shapes for basic actions. I've told the top brass these can turn any body of water into an autonomous weapon. Deep down, I'm hoping it can be used as an easily deployed search and rescue unit. Imagine a flood turning back on itself to aid those in rubble. Entry 530. Research into Project Shadow is in full swing. The first step has been learning how to siphon energy, chaos emerald energy, and apply it to living tissue. To that end, I've developed the chaos drives. Huh. Uh, direct application seems too harsh. Any organism that could directly interface with an emerald would be fearsome indeed. The initial tests were promising, so we're now moving on to the next stage in trials. I will be using salamanders for their regenerative abilities and manageable size. Oh, so that's how Biolizard was made. We will begin applying chaos drives to the test subject and see how its vitals respond. And to, ke uh, to keep blank gun from breathing breathing down my neck i'm supplying them with chaos drives as batteries for their mechanized divide division so that's how so chaos drives were essentially the chaos pieces that were inside all of the gun units from sonic adventure 2 battle wow we even get lore for the freaking like enemies or what's it called like for the gun units that's kind of cool and to keep um, chaos drives as batteries for their mechanized division. I loathe powering engines of war, but sacrifices have to be made if I'm to save Maria. I'll figure out something in the long run. I am a genius after all. Damn, Gerald was a very kind hearted soul, my dude. Oh my God. He just wanted to make the world a better place and he also wanted best for his daughter, Maria. Aw, and that's supposed to be the bio lizard, damn it! Entry 568. Project Shadow has reached an, uh, has reached an impasse. The subject ex exhibits accelerated cellular growth to the point it cannot support its own biological systems. I've developed an external life support system to compensate, but will need to be upgraded and redesigned as the subject continues to grow. The way it thrashes and roars, it is uncontrollable. Dude, yeah, I know, noob. Furthermore, it is generating unexplained ener energetic reactions. Is this an expression of the Blank's power. Um, Black Doom's power? Can a living thing produce such energy? Or a Chaos Emerald's power? Can it be controlled? There are too many questions, and unfortunately, the answer lies in this bio lizard's life. I will keep it alive and as comfortable as I can until I have the answers I need. I found a region in the Ark that should be able to safely house it while we continue our experiments. I'm not sure what I sh will tell Maria. I do not want to lie to her, but I think the truth is too cruel. Damn. Entry 589. Maria is growing into a lovely young woman. It breaks my heart that someone as bright and energetic as her is diminished by disease. There are no visible effects, and I've caught my fellow researchers muttering to each other, doubting her illness. It is infuriating. I find all my reason and restraint vanishes when she's slighted. And yet she remains an unending font, uh, font of positivity. 
even on her worst days when the fear and the pain take hold. She tells me she endures for the day when she can return home. She has total faith in me and that Project Shadow will cure her. Her family back on Earth has no such faith. Has no such faith. It's been so long. Some of the researchers actually think she was born here. Her family either wants her better or wants her home. I can do neither. Somehow their scorn is harsher than the government or the military's increasingly pres pressure for more weapons research. I'm a genius. I have to figure it out. Wow. It's so sad because it's like in this type of universe, we like... Uh, he needed somebody like Dr. Light to help him out because he's essentially turning into Dr. Wily. Damn, that's a bio lizard's first time, like, kind of lashing out. It sucks because you, in, uh, like, Mega Man universe, you have Dr. Light and Dr. Wily who did work together and whatnot and had their own differences and everything. But, like, and Dr. Wily just turned out to be how he came out to be. But it's like... Gerald Robotnik was one of the greatest souls to exist in the Sonic universe, it seems. He just, again, like I said before, he wanted to do good for everyone, but he had to, like, make do with the situations that were going on. It sees... The uncontrollable... You are a gentle soul. Desperate times, entry 616. Desperate times calls for desperate, uh, desperate measures. And I am a desperate man. The black comet returned to Earth on its 50 year orbit. I actually had no idea it, harbor, uh, it harbored black doom. Black doom? Aboard was. Somehow he knew about the blank and seemed impressed with my work. He offered me a Faustian beer. So this is when Black Doom like actually showed up for the first time. It harbored chaos energy or doom energy. I don't know what he's actually trying to say. Somehow he knew about the blank and seemed impressed with my work. He offered me a Faustian deal. I accepted. Using his DNA, I was able to overcome every hurdle. Project Shadow had put before me the small, sturdy biped I developed can perfectly interact with Blank's energy. Blank wanted me to craft a herald for his future invasion. Blank wanted, wants... So Black Doom wanted uh, him to create a herald for his future invasion. Black Doom wants Project Shadow to generate undying soldiers for them. Or Gun wants Project Shadow to generate undying soldiers for them. I will play them both for fools. 620, when I launched Project Shadow initially, I named it with scorn and mockery. I was trying to grab hold of any intangible goal. Later it sounded appropriately villainous as I was toying with the fundamentals of life itself. But then Maria looked upon the unfinished specimen and I put things into a whole new perspective. A shadow tells you which way to go to find the light. In an instant, she cut through all my pessimism and doubt and filled me with hope. <laughs> Blink, as she's come to call him, Shadow will not be some dark creature, but a champion of life and hope. I would not have seen this I would not have seen that if not for Maria. She is truly a remarkable person who can do great and wondrous things for the world. I must save her, no matter the cost. This is so depressing. So that's when Black Doom first appeared, offered the Faustian deal. And then this is when Shadow started taking more form and when Maria met Shadow for the first time. Entry 633. I now understand why this was named Gizoid. In the ancient tongue, it means everything. According to the stone tablet, if the Gizoid establishes a link with someone, the Gizoids will swear loyalty to that person. Perhaps it will it still lacks chaos energy, but I it has been saying the word link to me in broken tones. Poor guy only got research funding from the military and from an alien warlord. Basically. Um, 
broken tones. I It went uh, on to explain, show me your true strength and I shall obey. I am all things and I all shall belong to me. So it suggested... I, so as I suggested, I brought it before my collection of model guns and fired them all. Then suddenly it said, I shall follow your every command and never leave your side. And since then, it refuses to listen to anyone but me while it still is a fearsome weapon of destruction. While it remains under my control, at least it won't be used for evil. However, if someone with evil intention ever forms a link with the Gizoid, I don't want to think about what will happen. I must research how one can reestablish a link with a Gizoid. Entry 640. The upper echelon is going crazy. They aim to freeze Project Shadow. Soon the ultimate life form blank will be completed. Shadow? will be completed. The application to my granddaughter is also imminent. I also cannot let them stop my study at this point because I am the only one who can save my granddaughter's life. Entry 642. The higher-ups are threatening to shut down this facility. Um, I have no choice but to hand them the gizoy to buy more time for uh, my research. I need some water. Okay, cool. Um, apparently, the way the um. The higher-ups are threatening to shut down this research facility. I had no choice but to hand them the gizoid to buy more time for, for my research. I tried to be careful and commanded it to never absorb any dangerous technologies. However, I have heard that other researchers have been making the gizoid absorb weapons. Apparently, the way to cause a gizoid to form a new link is to show it power that surpasses that of its former master. While this poses immense danger, I cannot risk losing Maria. The top brass still aren't satisfied. The gizoid isn't strong, isn't big enough, or flashy enough for them. Fine. I've developed a weapon I'm calling the... Is this Bio Lizard? It taps directly into the Ark's central reactor to produce an unethical degree of firepower. They'll love it. Or is that the cannon? However, to use it on any target on Earth would destroy the world. They'll never be able to fire it. Checkmate. It will, however, be the perfect tool to deal with the blank when they return. To deal with Black Doom when they return, Eclipse means shadow. This is blank's cannon, my gift to him in a battle he never asked for. I'm so sorry. Oh, wait, no, he's talking about Emerald. For some of it, anyways. <sighs> Entry 651. Maria doesn't know the full scope of what Blanks uh, has been designed for, but she understands what Shadow's been designed for. Uh, but she understands she will be under tremendous strain. He will be under tremendous strain. She's helped me conceptualize a number of accessories that will help focus his power and aid in mobility. I'm also researching chaos control to see if I can gain an understanding of it before Shadow awakens. The power to stop time and space is incredible. I don't want him to have to try to learn its intricacies, uh, intricacies, intricacies on his own. I don't know. Intricacies. Intricacies. Uh, deep down, I know this progress is superficial, tangible, tangential, tangential, tangential at best. The larger issue remains blank, gun, the president, and the, mer the blank, my family. I've gleaned there's a rift growing between my sons. My love for them shouldn't be a divisive one. I'm running out of time. 
So Maria's the one that uh, like help Gerald create the rings, the limiters, and the shoes for Shadow, the hover shoes. That's cute. Uh, entry 670. It has been a whirlwind of events as of late. Project Shadow is complete and Blink has awakened. E Emerald? Uh, I pre-programmed a great deal of data into his mind, but his ability to parse it out and apply it to his situation is... Oh, and Shadow has awakened? And, um, ability to parse it out and apply to his situation is remarkable. All of his vitals are strong, and there seems to be no signs of instability or mutation. He stands in stark contrast to the monster we have sealed below decks. Damn. But all successes of this physical and mental prowess come second to the, his relationship to Maria. I had hoped they... I had hoped they'd get along, but it's far better than that. She is his guide to the world, and he is her stalwart companion. Never have I seen an instant mutual friendship and trust between two beings. I am truly moved. They remind me why I've been working so hard. They bring me hope. Back on my back on Earth, my son and grand my and granddaughter's parents have been blessed with another little girl. My son and granddaughter's parents have been blessed with an. My son and. My son and Maria's parents have been blessed with another little girl. They've already run tests and she has none of the genetic markers linked to Sh Maria's condition. While this was welcome news, the unspoken comment, uh, commentary was received loud and clear. I must save Maria. I must get my family back. Might help to see the real text. It's blocked out. That's cute. Back on Earth. Oh, uh, Maria's parents. Okay, okay, that's why. Fair enough. Uh, was there some type of disconnect there where he's in, he crossed out my son? But yeah, okay, fair, 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 fair. I love it so much. Shadow goes to school. Okay. I wish they did the line cross out thing in the text inside here to replicate it as well, but it's fine. Entry 67706. My worst fears have come true. The Gizoid has absorbed enough weaponry and technology that it has started to go out of control. The resulting rampage led to the destruction of most on the Ark. I have deciphered the rest of the stone tablet. It says, when the Gizoid had learned all that it could, it became a god of wrath and all was destroyed. So, what is the Gizoid that um, Gerald's referring to? Is that Shadow? Is that Emerald or is that Bio Lizard? Okay, so the Gizoid is Emerald. Okay. The researcher somehow managed to subdue the Gizoid and seal it away. Luckily, it had only it had one something installed. If it were to have all seven Chaos Emeralds installed, it might destroy the whole planet. The Gizoid is too much of a liability. I tried destroying its core, but didn't. Uh, but nothing I did worked. I understand too little of the technology that built him. 
My best hope is to try and reprogram its AI into a free willed emotions based AI. Entry number so and so. He doesn't know. I've lost track of the days. Not very scientific of me. I'm strained. Something has to give. The Gizoid's rampage caused the artificial chaos to behave erratically. I attempted to regain network control by inverting the polarity of the text mirrors illegible, so instead they became violent. Shadow race across the arc, pacifying them quite expertly, but the damage is done. An SOS was sent to gun automatically. I dread the lit litigious reprimanding I'll have to endure next. Can't tell what that is. Oh my god. A heritage of the past I dug out, Gizoid, and the ultimate life form I created by my own hand. I equip both weapons with a heart. If all powers are not what is to be obtained for oneself, but what is to be born from hearts that yearn for someone, I believe all conflict should cease to exist. Please, if there's anyone listening to my prayers, bring hope to humanity. I don't know... I don't quite know what happened or what went wrong. Was it a mistake to create the ultimate life form? I thought it would be something that would benefit mankind. But when the military guards landed on the colony that day, they were sent to destroy the research project that I had been working on. My colleagues at the research, cent uh, research facility, my granddaughter Maria, I hope you are all safe. The colony was completely shut down, probably to keep the prototype from falling into the wrong hands. The Ark was shut down under the premise that there had been an accident. Assholes. I found Maria's name among those who died when the Ark was shut down. She meant everything to me, and I couldn't bear the thought that she died because of my research. I lost everything. I had nothing more to live for. I went insane. All I could think about was how to adventure. Somehow, some way, I got scared as I was no longer able to control my thoughts. All I could think about was what I, it was that I wanted it all to end. Based on my original projections, I was able to complete my research, my project, Shadow. I designed it. I designed its mind to be perfect. Here, I will leave everything to him. If you wish, release and awaken it to the world. If you wish to fill the world with destruction. Uh. <laughs> Property of the Eggman Empire. Inventory code. No, my battery's dying. I can't do it right now. Hold up. I'll take a picture for later. Oh my god. It's not fair! He did nothing wrong. He was trying his best on his own. That's so unfair. Oh my god. I think after this, Gerald, after this, Gerald is the best written character in the franchise. Yes, they did a fantastic job in Eggman with Eggman and Frontiers as well, though. So Eggman and Gerald Robotnik are both the best written characters, along with Shadow in the franchise so far now. If Shadow got his own excerpts, his own flavor text, that would actually be kind of dope in general. Wow. 
I'm sad. How is it that the Robotniks, Eggman, in general's family line, is the are the best characters in all of the Sonic franchise? I'll never understand it. They have such a love for like the Robotniks. It's so insane. And I am about it entirely. 10 out of 10 game. They did a fantastic job with writing a story, writing for character, uh, character development for Shadow, bringing back Maria, like uh, bringing uh, Gerald Robotnik, giving him his story and everything seeing it from beginning to end giving some backstory to a lot of like a lot of the creatures or uh, enemies that we fought in the past like insane insane this game for a sonic game it's number one it's number one it's the best one i don't care anymore <laughs> My statement is that this is the best Sonic game that I've ever had ex the experience of enjoying in full. It's insane to say that, like, because it's just shadow gameplay. It's just the Sonic shadow gameplay. Generations was already like great, but I never saw Generations as the best like Sonic game. Like there was always some like some type of give and take I wanted with Generations. Um. And it's possible that like it was the DS that got separated from the classic levels that added more unique levels into the DS version of Sonic Generations. Then like they should have just combined that all into one. I kind of hope to see then like this version, but I don't know. We'll see. I doubt it though. Um, what else was there? Like Sonic Frontiers, I saw as a great base, but not the greatest Sonic game ever. Um, I did see high value inside of it for what can be built upon it, and they showcase in Shadow Generations. Um, Sonic Adventure 2 Battle, as much as I do enjoy that game full throttle and everything, it's like the gameplay for a chunk of the ca uh, cast didn't feel as good, but at the same time still feels fine. I would like to see that rebuilt in the future. We'll see for uh, Sonic Adventure 2. Like, if we ever get a Sonic Adventure 3, which I doubt, like, I don't really care for Sonic Adventure 3 at this point. It, it would be cool, don't get me wrong. I would love it, but at the same time, like, Sonic Adventure 2 holds so much, like, um, whole mu so much where it's like they could build upon that, make it actually really, really good to become the number one Sonic game of all time after Shadow Generations again. Like, we'll see, we'll see. I don't know. I'm, I'm just, like, going, I'm vibing, I'm just talking. <laughs> At the, yeah, at this point, I'm just talking. But, like, I see so much potential in the Sonic future, but at the same time, I don't know how they're going to get past this peak of Shadow. I really don't. It's insane. It's too good of a game for Sega standards. I Like, it's... I don't know, dude. I, I'm so confused with it, but I'm happy this session... This weekend has been one of the best ones with this game. I'm glad I got it immediately. I'm glad I got to enjoy everything near spoiler free as best as I possibly could and got to enjoy all the hype that this that this game gave to me. Shadow cast a long shadow on the next game. They really did. And with that, we're going to be ending here for today. For those of you who watched this and whoever watched the VOD, much appreciated. And I hope um, you enjoyed, like, I hope that you guys enjoyed this game or enjoyed this game as much as I did as well. I'm so happy. It, it's just, it's a phenomenal time to be a Sonic fan. It's weird. It's so weird. But anyways, I will catch you dudes next time. Have a good one. Peace out. Bye.